Hey guys, welcome back to Open Source Options and Geospatial School. Today I want to show you a really cool QGIS plugin that allows you to download uh, tiles from base maps. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to need to install a plugin for this. Really simple to do, just go to your plugins on the main menu, manage and install plugins. And let me open this up. We're going to search for this one, the Map Tile Loader. So if you go to Map Tile Loader right here, just click on that guy and click Install. This should install pretty quickly. Um, close this down. And you can access Map Tile Loader right here on your plugins toolbar. It looks just like this here. So click that to open it up. Okay, first before we get there, let's actually add in a base map so we can get some context. I'm just going to go ahead and add an open street map, which you should have. It comes with QGIS, so you should be able to see what I'm seeing here. So let's zoom into an area. Um, I don't know where. Let's go, sure, along the Mississippi River somewhere. We're going to zoom in kind of close to some things, something like this. Let's go right, let's go right here. Okay, and now we have a spot we're interested in downloading. Uh, we can come and open up the map tile loader. We're going to select our source. So there's Google Base Map, Terrain, Traffic, Satellite, Hybrid. We have Esri, we have some Yandex, and we have some Bing. So let's go ahead and we'll just start with Bing Satellite. And we're going to select a folder to save this to. I'm going to go to Downloads, make a test folder, and select that. And now we just need to choose our frame. So what this is going to do is give us just the option here to draw a box on the map. And then we can select here uh, our satellite, our zoom level. Uh, the higher the zoom level, the more tiles you'll download, or the the longer the download will take, I should say. So let's go ahead and click Save Frame. And I don't want to save the frame, sorry. That'll save the outline. If you want to save the outline, you can do that. I'm going to click Download to download the Bing Satellite for this location, which I selected a bigger area than I wanted. It's going to take a minute. And what I'll probably do is I'll just pause this while it downloads, and then you can see. All right, so that image is downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and close Tyler, and you can see we have our image right there. It's added into our layers with this with this layer name, and we can go to our downloads folder, check out our test directory, and you can see we have a Bing satellite tip image right there. And so we successfully downloaded that. It's awesome. Um, let's do one more, and I'll just show you what we can do. We'll do a little smaller area so it downloads faster. Um, let's go ahead and pull the map tile downloader or tile loader back up. Um, we're going to add a frame. I'm going to do a smaller one here. We'll just do an area like this. And we can grab, grab Google Satellite this time um, and just click download. And that's going to run off here and take just a minute to download. And I'm going to pull up my downloads here to show you what's going on. So you can see we have all these out.jpegs. Um, it's getting all those individual tiles, and then it's going to mosaic those together into a single uh, image for us so that we don't have to do that ourselves. So it's a pretty slick little plugin for QGIS that lets you get that imagery uh, if you wanted to use it for something. Now, hopefully the Google one shows you what I think it's going to. That's going to be its watermarked, and so you're not going to be able to use it uh, like you can with Bing, and the Bing doesn't have any watermarks. And you want to go check the terms of use for these data sets, depending on how you use them, so that you can be sure you're using them uh, within the correct policies that the companies have allowed for. Okay, so Google Satellite has loaded up. You can see now we just have that one image as a TIFF instead of all the JPEGs that were downloaded. And I'm going to close the tile downloader again. And we'll turn off Bing, and we'll zoom in here. Yeah, and you can see here that we have those watermarks on there, copyright uh, 2024 Google. And so some of these are going to have that, some won't. It'll just depend on the source. 
that you can use this to download, like I showed you Google Satellite or Bing, or we can even do one more here. And we'll do one that's not satellite. Let's just add a new frame. Uh, we'll do one right over here in this area. And let's select uh, Esri Terrain. And let's download that. And I'll just pause it while this downloads for you. Okay, so that's finished loading. Let's go take a look. And you can see here that the map data are not available for this location. So that's one of the downsides of this plugin. You can get this happening. Um, I'm not sure what causes this. I know what happens with different layers in different locations. So just be aware of that, okay? And I pulled that up as an example of what could go wrong with it. But you can see also the examples of what can go right. The Bing satellite I found to be quite reliable. You can use these data. You can... I'm use these to you know digitize things for models or or whatever it may be or use it as a base map. So there's some examples of what what you can use these data for, where it may not work, what results you might see if it doesn't work. Uh, as always, hope you found this useful, and we'll see you on the next one.